This movie is a hybrid of action and science fiction. Adrian Glyn McMoran plays a guy who can see into the future. First of all, this movie has a murky narrative. To make it worse, it also has jumbled timelines and expository dialogue. All of this leads to a number of twists that stumble instead of surprise. There's a been there done that feel to the film. This is not a criticism of the main actor, but everything he says and everything he does has been said and done before in other movies. The timeline slips back and forth between James and Angela on the run and a future where James takes a bullet to the chest. At the midway point, the movie throws in a time travel twist, turning the film into a thriller of sorts. But any potential for a time hoping fun is buried under scientific jargon. As confused as its hero and as baffling as its science, this movie suffers from too muchness. There's more twists, flashbacks, narrative counter moves, and nauseating camera motion that anyone can take in a single viewing. The movie is not clever enough to get over this somewhat prominent obstacle, mostly because its creators go all in on with their convoluted story. The moment when James returns to visit Elliot, a professor in quantum physics, is when the screenwriters decide to blow up their simple, clever gimmick for a much more ambitious and fatally convoluted one. The easiest way to explain the remainder of the plot is that it becomes about time travel as James tries to stop someone from being killed. This is such a grave error as the story becomes founded on an extended act of explanation. There are not many surprises here because the breadcrumbs that lead to the movie's big finish are plentiful and very stale. Seriously, the plot twists in this movie are so obvious and unappetizing that you could not miss them if you tried. Nothing in this movie seems consequential because the movie barely pitched its narrative's stakes. The sketchy scenario always seems to be a few rewrites away from some place unexpected, but they never quite get there. Overall, this movie is a disappointment.